slightly evil laugh. <laughs> <laughs> <No>. <laughs> stuff Finland edits uh, I'm here with my friend Dutti hi tell us more about yourself yeah I'm a composer and a musician and sound artist from Finland I do quite many uh, different things I mainly compose at the moment more like classical contemporary music but I've done also film music I've been kind of like very interested in finding alternative instruments <laughs> Working a lot with different home appliances. I did a piece for microwave ovens, coffee machines also with balloons. Now I've also gotten very into uh, building my own instruments. <laughs> check uh, Tutti's work on this website here somewhere and also check her uh, social media and hire her. So this is quite crazy like I've been thinking about making contact microphones for ages now. Yorkshire sound women have... Oh, Yorkshire sound women? Uh, no that's like a Scotland really weird twang. Anyway they have an amazing guide on their website to do contact microphones. So I'm gonna link it uh, down below just so that you can go and if you want to make one. We know that contact microphones you can buy them super cheap. They're not that expensive. For me when I made the first contact mic I was also so amazed that I can do something that actually can capture sound. Like, yeah, I, I felt yeah. like making microphones sounded so somehow next level stuff. Yeah. That, uh, so it's actually very nice when you do your own and realize that how simple is this. I bought myself a soldering iron, I got myself piezo mic pickups and everything. I've been so like Scared, maybe? Solder actually scares me a bit. We'll see what happens. Yeah, it's not that scary actually. Sometimes you get a bit burnt fingers, but that's not too bad. It's it's okay. <laughs> that was like slightly evil laugh. <laughs> <laughs> no. What do you need? This is the stuff you melt things with and this is the machine that is plugged just to electricity you can see how it's rising it's quite quickly to rise and as i was told 360 is a good okay. temperature now this is already quite hot you can yeah. uh, feel it's getting oh hot. my god yep. and i have here this uh usually you have some kind of sponge or something yeah this is quite dirty now so i'm a bit cleaning up because there's this, this what was this in English? So uh, solder. Solder. And that makes the tip sometimes a bit dirty. I'm basically cleaning it. You can clean it also with... It the... smells. Yeah. And that's why we're in the balcony because the, uh, <laughs> uh, the smells are a bit... You're not supposed to be breathing it. So in your space you should have some kind of ventilation system. But, uh, at least in Finland since it's a bit cold in the balcony. So you have restrictions. <laughs> you don't take this uh, solder that has lead lead okay yeah that's good lead you know. free solder yeah then you need these piezo discs i uh, there's a couple of different sizes here Ta -da! then you need some wire we're using thin mono cable and the last stuff we need is the way to plug it somewhere yeah. But this is just a mono plug. Ground and the hot one shouldn't ever touch each other. Here I've had this kind of tube and then when you make it hot then it shrinks. Uh. It's completely magical in my opinion. <laughs> How it just <laughs> shrinks. These wires of course get also hot but since this has this plastic over here then it doesn't yeah. burn you. I don't have any fancy like um, you know wire clippers so I'll just do like this. Okay. Don't cut all the way. Here you have the wire. Hairy one is the grounded and the hot one is the red. And then what she does is that you twist it. Yeah, so that it's uh, more nice to work with it. Because this um, has this met um, plastic yeah. uh, covering this hot one. So then I'll try to... Sometimes you go too far and then you need to do it again. So You've done this before. <laughs> yeah, then, then you just twist it again. So when we look at this, it's quite clear. The red yeah. one goes to the red one and the metallic one to the metallic one. 
what is the problem in this home situation with me at least is that um, you're kind of holding this hot thing that you don't want to touch your yeah uh, skin but then at the same time you're supposed to be putting two quite light wires together what might help is to, to make kind of a like cobra snake <laughs> of <Cobra>. this uh, <laughs> like, like she literally made a cobra snake that's what <laughs> You heard it here first. Here, rising from the table. Now here, I sometimes do a bit of like kind of coating. So you are not kind of putting this straight to the shoulder. I guess there are many ways, but I, uh, the yeah. thing I've heard that here I should have also make the metal hot and then oh, uh, that yeah, it's yeah. always that way that you put the more solid stuff hot and then that hotness melts the thing. But now I was just kind of oh, using okay, this yeah. like... Yeah. Yeah. And yeah, yeah, putting it. And you should check a bit, like, are they really holding? So this also opens like this, the jack, and inside is where we gonna solder the wire in. Red one goes to here, so like here, the red one, and then the grounded one goes over here. And then you do that cobra, cobra again. <laughs> Take it, and then you melt it. Yeah. Take it, but. Really, this is a bit cheating now. But yeah. this looks quite good. That looks really pretty. Now, we should have a contact mic. Whoa! So, yeah. So, this is what you put to your s s mixer. And then this is where you get the signal. So, if I would like to record Lena, then I would put this <laughs> here and, and it would just like, be like really loud, really loud signal. But this is this simple. Yeah, yeah it's so simple. Amazing. Yeah. Ah, okay. Now with the help of Tutti and the information I got, I am ready to tackle this. I'm in my kitchen by the window, so I can just open the window when I start soldering. I have my lead-free solder, I have my leads, I have my piezo microphones and my jack plug-in. I'm just gonna get into it and let's hope that it will become something exciting and working. Okay. <laughs> and it definitely is not really good but in my work I don't know if it does but I'm just gonna make another one and then I'm just gonna try them out if one of them works there's different ways of soldering and different techniques but with more experience you will get the right one I found it really easy what Dutti was saying that you do the Cobra so it's like ready there and then you just kind of like pick some up i tried also like warming it up and then just putting that in i found that a little bit more difficult but i think with practice i will probably learn to do like the cor more correct way but yeah i'm just gonna make another one and i'll see you in the studio in a minute hey now has that now has come the time to see if this works Let's hope so. so. What I'm gonna do is just plug this in. Gonna turn the volume up. Oh my god, it works! It works! I made a microphone! Ah! Okay, so I'm just gonna try to uh, connect it to my violin with the Plutag. I don't really like putting Plutag on my violin as it really, really harms the surface of my violin, but I just want to try to see if I can record it and I'd rather put Plutag than tape. Oh my god, it actually works. It actually works. I'm so freaking excited. Okay, so that was how, how simple it was. Please give Dutti a follow and thank you so much for showing us how thank it's done. Thank you for inviting me to be well, part of this. This was very fun. Follow, uh, thumbs like, uh, no, oh, thumbs like. I'm actually losing my English from when being in <laughs> Finland. Like this video. Anna Sille Peukku. Remember to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you. Moi. Moi. <laughs> <laughs>